Welcome, friends! Your favorite degenerates, Krista and Jason, are at it again. Let's celebrate the day. Hey, degenerates! What's the situation, <laughs> degenerate nation? What do we do today? I have uh, no and, idea. and first off, I mean, we've been kind of out of the drinking or the make a drink scene for a couple of weeks because we've been doing other fun stuff. So, right. you know. Bike week, Bike week Matt Tampa Sandy, Bay Aquarium, yeah. Griffin Alyssa. Traveling duo, Griffin Alyssa. Yeah, good right? stuff, good stuff. Um, Mr. Playkowski, we had a good time there. Wow, he's so cool. Anyway, so uh, what we want to do today is another really popular drink from the Alchemy Bar. 40 is the new 20. 20. Yes, I know. It takes a lot of pronunciation. Oh, wait a minute, it won't, 50. It won't sound like 40 is the new 20 by the time I've had two 20. 20. It'd be more like 20. Twice. <laughs> so, so the first thing I do, as I always do, is I run off to uh, Carmel's website and I type in 40 is the new 20. <laughs> Goose egg for Jason, no. I start hitting the internet and uh, I remember um, look at taking a picture of the Alchemy Bar's uh, menu and it comes up as a 40 is the new 20, tastefully prepared for the young and the young at heart. It's Palma Pomegranate Liqueur, Grey Goose Vodka. We have Tito's because we dig Texas vodka. I have my Belvedere though. It doesn't call for that. But oh. like I said, you know, man, we could just fill the, uh, the liquor cabinet up here. So vodka will do. Four ingredients because martinis historically are pretty simple drinks, right? Mm -hmm. So I can't really do history on 40s, the new 20, because it's just a cocktail. But it is supposedly a martini. So I'm like, well, shit, this has got to be an interesting thing, right? Martinis have been around forever. Right? So let me go Google a vodka martini. Well, when I look up martini, it's not vodka whatsoever. It's a, a c true classic martini is actually supposed to be gin, vermouth, and an olive. That's it. I mean, this basically, it's, it's a gin shooter. So, I don't, hence why we're probably not big gigantic martini fans because right. gin, no, uh, <laughs> no. vermouth, no. Uh, no. <laughs> right? Olives, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have a we bowl of olives. Yeah. Um, I put them on my fingers so at Christmas. Then I thought, well, wait, maybe if I Google this different, I can come up with something else. So the drink that would typically be made with vodka would be a Cosmo, Cosmopolitan. Okay. And Cosmo, I'm like, okay, I'll Google Pomegranate Cosmo. Not a whole lot out there on Pomegranate Cosmo. But a Cosmo is actually supposed to be made with uh, vodka, uh, Coutreau, 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 how do you pronounce that? I have no idea. Contreau, Contreau. I have no anyway, idea. And, it's uh, a fancy liqueur. And uh, lime juice and cranberry juice. So I was a lot closer with a Cosmo because it has cranberry juice in it and vodka than I am by calling it a martini. But I mean, almost you, you, you can Google what's the difference between a martini and a Cosmo and it's all cloudy, right? Right. The martini is a pretty cool drink though, because um, despite its, uh, its association with being a sophisticated drink, it's pretty simple. I mean, we're looking at uh, just a couple, three ingredients, including the olive here. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's pretty okay. simple. We'll sit there and drink I, I think, water. You know, and just based off the ingredients and how simple a Cosmo or a Martini is, this is a pretty simple one to deconstruct. It's really just a matter of proportions at this point. Yep. And so, using what little I know about mixology, by no means am I a bartender or a mixologist, I can kind of plan out the alcohol to come out at a certain percentage. Although this drink is not served on the rocks, it's just poured into a glass. So the ABV you pour it at after you're done with the mix is the ABV it'll finish at. It doesn't uh -oh. water itself down at all. Uh -oh. The question is how much ice melts while you're shaking it. And I okay. think really uh, that's, that's a moving target too because uh, you know if you're in Florida. Saskatchewan, I'm sure that if you were sitting outside in front of your pool in six inches of snow, you wouldn't get quite the melt. We're going we're gonna to get here today at 80. So the martini's history, the best I can come up with for martini's history is that in the gold rush day, this sophisticated drink that we all know as, a, as a more affluent people would drink martinis, is actually invented in the Wild West. The okay. gold rush days in a town just east, northeast, about 30 minutes of San Francisco called Martinez, California. Uh huh. it makes sense. Martini. Martinez. Martinez. Right? So this, uh, the story goes that this dude hits it rich, he finds his gold during the gold rush, he runs into town and he orders champagne. Well, you know, these, these Wild West bars, they don't have champagne. So the no. guy says, hold up, I'll make you a celebration drink. 
and with what he's got. And what he's got is gin, vermouth, and an olive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently this bar is not very well stocked. No. But, so he invents it and then, uh, you know, the guy takes off and he asks other people to make it and being how the ingredients are pretty simple, it was uh, pretty easy to reproduce. And the next thing you know, the nation's on fire with this uh, drink known at that time as a, now, the drink known at that time was a Martinez Special. Martinez, Martinez special, special for the town that it was crafted in. There's many other, just like as with all history, booze history is especially cloudy. There's other stories where it was invented, but somewhere around that time would have been about appropriate. And the fact that the town's name was Martinez and the drink became Martini, that makes sense to me, right? So yeah. I'm, I'm, that's the one I'm laying out on the table. Okay. Now the Cosmo, was actually uh, popularized by Sex and the City. We all know the show Sex and yes. the City. So Sex and the City popularizes the drink in the 80s when the yes. show was popular and everybody goes out to get this cool, cool color, cool drink. But it was actually, it existed before that. It was invented in South Beach, Miami in the gay community because these people demanded a drink that wasn't as powerful as a martini. And they wanted something that was a little sweeter, a little more palatable, but still equally as sophisticated looking. And so a bartender down there invented it. Oh. And it was the vodka instead of gin and uh, cranberry juice, and it, it was a little sweeter. Okay. So it like was it. a lot more palatable. You could drink more of them and still not be on your ass. So uh, Rainbow Power, thanks for not having me knocked on my ass by 7 p.m., right? Well, that's you, not me. <laughs> so, thankfully, <laughs> we're not actually doing a martini today. Or no. uh, actually, we would probably skip it if we were. If we're yeah. gonna do a martini. This wouldn't be our first pick. But the forty news is the new twenty. We can do because it's pretty simple. He's pre gaming, by the way. Now it calls for this this Parma pomegranate liqueur, and you can tell by the fullness of the bottle that we did not have any of this in stock. No. And uh, the pomegranate is. We like pomegranate flavor, yes. I suppose. That is the weirdest fruit in the history of mankind. It's very right? strange. Who the hell opened a pomegranate in the first place and said, I should eat this? Does it look like poisonous fruit to you? Yes, <laughs> it looks like it something like Adam and Eve type right. of thing, like the bad apple. Yeah, actually pomegranate, the name, is uh, derives from the Latin medieval term pom pomum for apple and grantum for seeded. So it's basically a Latin seeded for apple. a seeded apple. It makes sense, right? It could have been the one. Hey, you that... want a, you want a pro tip? If you go to take your, you know, pomegranates are quite the pain in the ass to actually get out. It's not like a yes. banana where you just <laughs> or an apple where you get to eat the the, the wrapper. Mm -hmm. You stick it in a bowl of water, and the seeds go to the bottom, and the rind flows to the top. Ta-da! We aim to educate here at the Degenerate Nation Channel. Oh, that's kind of cool. Right. It is cool. I've only let you de, de get the seeds because it's just a mess up my nails. Right. Now, <laughs> pomegranate by itself, I'm not sure when it's when it's made into a liqueur if it has quite the health benefits that we all think this mysterious uh, pomegranate Magic has. Fruit. Yes. But it is, I think, I, I think it's a pretty, I don't know about superfood, but it's probably pretty close yes. to superfood, right? Yes. And Palm, the drink manufacturer, was actually told by the FDA to stop it with the uh, health benefits talk. Mm -hmm. And Palm actually uh, appealed that and yes. went all the way to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court told them, no, you're not allowed to say that. Um, yeah, it could be a health supplement, but yeah, yeah it's, it's scary. No, I think, it's, I think it's, good. it's got a lot of good vitamins in it, it's it got, does. and it is definitely high in antioxidants. So, we're going to count this as a health food. Bonus. So, here's to your health. Anyway, um, so if I deconstruct it, or if I start constructing a recipe, given the items that are given to us by Carnival's website of the, uh, the vodka, the pomegranate, the cranberry juice, citrus, and try and go for uh, something that comes out about right and would taste palatable, okay. I'm, I'm, I think we're going to start with one ounce of vodka and two ounces of the pomegranate liqueur. What's the ABV on the pomegranate liqueur? 17, yeah, 17. 17? Huh. Yeah, 17. Ooh, okay. And so if I do that, the one ounce, if I do one ounce of vodka, two ounces of the pomegranate uh, liqueur, an ounce of cranberry juice, a half ounce of lemon juice, or you can just squeeze a half lemon, but that works out to about a half. And then you, uh, you're supposed to embellish the glass. I can't for the life of me remember what this thing was garnished with, whether it was a lime or a lemon. So I've got both. Okay. <laughs>
I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> we'll be taking I don't lots know of why I can't, pictures. I really I can't tell tomorrow. that it was green or yellow. I can't remember that. I, 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 I didn't don't, have I, one. I don't so. remember. Anyway, if we do where we're kicking this off at, and I think um, uh, my initial estimate is going to be probably a little light on the vodka. Okay. It would come out to a 10.6% uh, drink that's after the water down from the shake. That's actually considerably higher than some of the other drinks we've been drinking. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I mean, that's what it's going to be at the beginning and the end. Our other ones, you know, as, right. as it watered itself down because it's in a pint glass and you could end up with a drink as low as 5% at the end of the melt. Yeah. If uh, we end up at two ounces alcohol toward the end, which I don't know if we'll, I don't think we'll get that high, but then we're looking probably somewhere around 20% ABV. Oh. Baby. Mm. You like that? Why don't you just make me <laughs> so. Dance break. <laughs> okay. Um, so we, uh, we'll do the math on it as well. The math, uh, we always compare everything to beer. That's our benchmark around here. We all remember a beer is $1.42 um, on Carnival at five ninety five dollars for a 16 ounce. You do the math on the 4.2, blah, 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 comes out to $1.42. If my first uh, revision is correct, it's $1.04. So already, already we're, we're, we're 32 cents better than a beer as far as our cost per ABV. If uh, we end up with the two ounces, we're looking at 55 cents. So that's a really good bargain, except you ain't going very far at nope. a two ounce, 40%. Yeah. Mix this. Oh, I guess I should. Yeah. All right. So we'll mix two at a time. Two ounces. Hey, what? do you see that our little shaker glass tells you where to pour it all? For our Cosmo. We're not making a Cosmo. Well, I get we're kind of making a Cosmo. We don't actually know. I love things with corks in them. Don't I, and I don't like wine, but I love booze with corks in it. I just feel like I'm getting really a, a high dollar event, you know? According to this glass, a traditional Cosmo has lemon vodka. Yeah, that was what the popularized when uh, Absolute came out with Citron. That oh, was, that's what it is. That okay. was literally the birth of uh, the Cosmo because of that came into existence. An ounce of cranberry juice apiece. And uh, I'm going with unsweetened because I don't love, bug season. love bugs. I'm going with uh, unsweetened cranberry juice because I'm not um, trying to add additional sweeteners to this concoction. Hey, you want a fun fact? Okay. A martini is supposed to be stirred. So James Bond, when he says shaken, not stirred, and there's actually a name for a martini that's been shaken. It's called a Bradford. So James Bond is actually full of shit. You can't have a martini that's been shaken and not stirred. They're all stirred. If you order a shaken martini, it's called a Bradford. said no ice, right? Nope, this stuff is, but you see most of my ice is gone. Yeah. So here we have another miracle. Uh, look at me, I made four ounces into eight. Oh. And it should come out, the typical martini glass will hold somewhere between four and six inches. Six inches, <laughs> six ounces. <laughs> like I talk. <laughs> All right, and uh, Half ounce, a little squirt of this, a little squirt of that. Sorry, I'm back on the six inches. <laughs> and you're supposed to, uh, I believe, if I remember, it had a citrusy hit on my lip when I first tried it, so we're going to. That looks pretty, honey. It smells pretty nuts on. That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's a little, uh, maybe uh, we should try it with sweetened. I think it lacks sweetness. 
Yeah, it's not very sweet. But it's nice and crisp. Yes. I don't I know like that's that. exactly the drink we had on uh, the, the Miracle or Liberty, whichever one we were on, and uh, when I tried it. But that's pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. And that's palatable. Yes, I could drink this this summer once the pool heats up. Yes. I'll break out the uh, the sweetened uh, cranberry juice for the next go around and see if that makes any difference as far as the... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little... It's a little tarty, but I remember yeah. the drink I had wasn't overly sweet. Right. You know, like, like a really, really sugary drink. Okay. Mm. Well, we're going to drink this. And now you know the drill. We'll be back in about... Drink some... these, wait 20 minutes, breathalyzer time. Yep. So we'll see you soon. We're back. Welcome back. Um, so we had one of these. One. I thought it was pretty good. Krista thinks it's bunk. We must have gotten some liquor with no liquor in it. it, it She's not a big fan of Tito's. No, it's it dirty. Seems. It seems. She thinks it's too earthy. So we're going to change the recipe around a little bit. I thought it was a little tart. Yes. Tarter than I remember, but that may have been my 13th or 14th or 15th drink, so my recollection might not be exactly. Uh, maybe I should make this one of my first drinks so I can make sure that I got the recipe right. It's a little fuzzy. So we're going to switch to Belvedere, and we're going to switch to non uh, or sweetened uh, cranberry juice. Okay. And up the vodka to an ounce and a half. So this we is going to put... it somehow, because this is ridiculous. The last one was at 10%. Okay. Uh, I, I believe with the melted ice and all. This one's going to come out around 15 with that added bit of uh, goodness. Okay. So let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. All right, Belvedere. Woo. I stepped on an ice cube. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Two. This is a wheat vodka, not that anybody cares. Nobody's an alcohol nerd. You're an alcohol nerd. I might run out of cup. <laughs> oh shit. Why are you running out of cup? Because I'm, and. Hang on, my phone's freaking out for some reason. Hang on. I always have my phone with me, unless it's not with me. Slow down and listen to what you just said. Yep, that's exactly what I meant it to say. Cranberry juice. Boop. And this is red everywhere, so if you're looking for a drink that you can spill on your counter, this is not it. No. A half ounce. Look at that, man. Forget to chip. There you go. I have no idea. You okay? I don't know. My, my phone's freaking out. My... We're, we're trying to do a YouTube video here. Sorry. But I tried to upload a Facebook video and it didn't work very well. Oh my. Oh my. How many times can you tell me something? Show on phone. Check your phone is what the watch says. I'm sure it could wait for just a few minutes. Right? Oh, are we doing lime or lemon? Limes. I got the limes cut. Okay. I'm way ahead of the game. And then here's your your here's your thing to Because like I said, my memory can be a little um, unreliable at points. Which is why I love programming because it just stays. You only have to remember it once. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's pretty freaking close. That's a lot better. That's really close. That's a lot better. Ooh. That's a lot better, honey. Yep, it's still got that cranberry tartness, but it's not so pronounced where it's overly tart. Did you blow? Because I didn't blow. Oh, shit. We fucked up. Okay. Disregard that sip. 
We have to back up. I'm gonna blow. Sorry, we have uh, science to, to do. Science. We're doing science over here. I don't know where you put all those lungs in that little tiny body of yours. 0.19? Yeah, I think we might have missed the bus on that. Because you got liquor on your breath. Oh, point does one this nine, mean I'm like that, comatose? That, that's really bad. That's like, like I said before, frat boy stuff. Oh. Okay. All right, so uh, we we uh, we screwed the pooch on the blow. Sorry. <laughs> so we're going to drink these, and we'll see what two does. And we'll divide that in half and call that the first result. Okay. It's math. That's good. It's science. You science. can trust science. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is much better. All righty. Cheers. All right, we'll be back. Uh, We'll drink these, we'll wait 20 minutes, and then we'll be back for a breathalyzer. If I remember. <laughs> <laughs> they might be hitting him harder than me. Hi, degenerates. Welcome back. I'm happy. <laughs> so, we drank two of these. Uh, the first one with the ounce of vodka and the second one with an ounce and a half. I think we're pretty close on the recipe. Might be a little too much vodka. What you got there? It's a little look. <laughs> And so, uh, right, today my selection is vast. Vast. It's vast. My wonderful husband went out and got me lots of. Oops, I got problems on you. It's all right. My husband got me lots of snacks because he knew that probably too much vodka would make me very happy. And oddly, we're not vodka people, but we keep finding like out that <laughs> we we like our statement was I don't like vodka. I don't like and vodka. Then, and then we keep like reconstructing the drinks we like from places, and, and vodka. they have vodka. <laughs> I but do like not said, like Tito's vodka. I do like Belvedere. Don't. That's blasphemy. <laughs> Sorry. You don't go against Texas. It's dirty. You don't go against Texas. It's, it's, it's. It's got the power in your mouth, like Lucas says. Pit. If you watch our cucumber sunrise video. Pit. Anyway. It's a pit. There was a video happening here. What were we Sorry. talking about? I don't know. <laughs> so, Hi. We drank two of them. We're um, going to blow. If you if you wanted to make this and if it's a little tart for you because like that cranberry tart, what is the thing with cranberry? It's not people don't drink it for the taste. No, they What's, drink it because it, it, it does cleanse your body. Okay. Um, it's a great it, it grabs all sorts of things out of your bladder and your intestines and so it's good and, for that. And, and then urinary you have the tract pomegranate infections. over here. So basically, pomegranate is the same thing. It's like the, uh, bam, clean your shit. The, the 40 is the new 20 is a superfood because the pomegranate is the weirdest fruit, I, I like I said. But it's basically, you know what I think a pomegranate it's is? It's equal to blueberries. You know what I think a pomegranate is? It's, it's basically a Borg ship. For the Star Trek people out there, it's a Borg ship. There's a bunch of little freaking Borgs inside of this big Borg ship. That's a pomegranate. And then it goes in your body and it takes care of business. Uh-oh. All right, Krista is at a point one zero. Yay me! <laughs> okay, he'll be at a like point two. Well, I did have some beer. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to give you the handicap here. Let you start a couple <laughs> hundred yards ahead, but I outweigh you by double. Easy. You close. Low, low, low. Fuck it. 18.7 oh right so there you go there's the results of uh two i think that the vodka is I think better you've had like four beers though no no i had two <laughs> i think he's had more than two dig my cool koozie can you see degenerate that? cruisers koozie look at that that's cool i like koozies koozies are good so are these chips <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't want my cereal. You gonna switch flavors now? I'm, I'm done. Done with those? What are these? Okay. Goldfish. I love fishy, Tony. Fishy, fishy, fishy! Alrighty, so um, 40 is the new 20. I like it. I don't think it would be an all-day drink for me because nope. I'm not a big cranberry fan, but I, I dug the, the crispness of it, you know, the clean. 
mm -hmm. it's absolutely clean. You know, everything that's in it, it has this really clean, crisp flavor. I have to say, um, fuck it. Um, I'm not a big vodka drinker. I we keep saying that, right? <laughs> We all have that alcohol when we were teenagers where we drank way too much. We got, we talked to the Tidy Bowl man for a long time over one specific alcohol. Vodka was my alcohol. I, I talked to the Tidy Bowl man for a long time. And since then, vodka I try to stay away from. However, this has taught me that, that our drink series has taught me that a lot of the drinks I like, if I ignore the fact mentally that it's got vodka in it, it's actually really good. I'm really enjoying learning. And I didn't know that all different alcohols could taste different. Tito's vodka tastes completely different than Belvedere. Wouldn't have never have known had I not been doing this drink series. So thank you, Degenerate Nation, for teaching me something about this whole vodka thing. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. Mr. The, Point, uh, what were the, you, seven? Point oh seven, yes. Point oh seven. Well, I mean, I have had uh, two and a half ounces of vodka and two beers. What? What is that? I think you've had four beers. No, no. No. No? No, because I bought a fresh six pack. Oh. I know how many beers are not in the fridge right now. <laughs> anyway, so the uh, the intangibles is um, I, I'm, I'm good, you know, of uh, a lot of our drink series. I would say this is one of the lighter drinks that we've drank. Yes. Uh, until you increase the alcohol to uh, the, the vodka until to one and I, a half It ounces. would not be something I would uh, drink all day. Nope. It's definitely a nice uh, desserty or one one and done sort of deal. I'm not a big fan of the flavor of cranberry in the first place. But I do love the the pomegranate and the way it offsets that bitterness of the cranberry. If you wanted to make this drink sweeter, I would cut back on the cranberry juice to probably a half ounce rather than a full ounce per uh, per drink and. Uh, I'd cut back on the vodka instead you think? of one ounce, one and a half. So that uh, water is good. That that sums up your your thoughts on the uh, 40 is the new 20. It's not my favorite drink that we've tried. Mm -mm. Um, I I guess no, no, I don't if know you, if, if it's... you want the perfect drink. Here's one for you. I really get an ounce of Jack Daniels and some <laughs> Coke and some ice and a cup. Okay. I really did like the cucumber sunrise. I yes. really do like the Bahama Mama. We're totally um, gonna make cucumber sunrises on whatevs too. Exactly. Because I think um, we can pull that off in the room. I think you're right. When we do the room crawl. I think you're right. So um, there, there's multiple things, multiple drinks we've tried. And this one, um, have your antacids on hand for. If you're prone to heartburn, this drink will give you heartburn. Yes. Um, like I said, we've tried multiple drinks that I really, really enjoy. Uh, we tried this one as a recommendation. Not my favorite, yeah, I liked but it on totally the ship, drinkable. But as, a, as a one and done, I, I yeah, was good totally with it. Yeah, totally You know, kind of like a Chocotini, where you're just not going to sit around the Lido and drink Chocotinis all day. It, no. it ain't going to happen. And same with the Jamaican coffee. That's my big deal with beer, why I absolutely love beer. Because it fits in all situations. 30 There's a cocktail change, for every occasion, too. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with that. A beer is this easy. <laughs> That's an easy beer. So for me, if I, I mean, I, I try it on the weekends, uh, especially if we're hanging out in this gorgeous swimming pool, um, to start with one alcohol and stick with it. So this might be um, thrown into my vodka repertoire, I uh, if which I didn't such thing have as last a year. Rum martini or a rum cosmopolitan. I don't know, but if you like what you're watching, if you're interested in our drink videos, if you think I don't know, if you like them and you want us to try a drink, we're more than willing to sacrifice and try the drink. Um, so put in the comments what drink you'd like us to try and, and you know, recreate from your we're, cruise. We're, we're not shy on drinks, but if there's one you'd like to move to the top of the list, absolutely, yes. because um, on the Liberty, I got through 15 drinks every day. So I- Me too. And, and a lot of them were the same drink over and over. We did, I did drink a lot of beer on that. On I that drank cruise. a lot of Bahama Mamas. a lot of bourbon. But I did branch out and get out of my comfort zone and try some other liquors and other drinks off Carnival. And then uh, we need to do the Labradoozy. I want to do the Labradoozy. The Labradoozy off of Royal. I've never Ooh. had a Labradoozy, but poor John Klaikowski has been in search of a Labradoozy <laughs> for two cruises now. And been served a supposed Labradoozy that wasn't a Labradoozy. It was a fake. 
This is actually a recipe that you can actually Google, go on Royal Caribbeans, and they're like, here, here it is, like the cucumber sunrise. It's like, hey, take this, here, have it, enjoy. So 40 is the new 20. Is, uh, it's a great cocktail. I, it's not an all-day drink, just like yeah. most of the stuff from the Alchemy Bar. <laughs> it would put you in bed way too early if you tried to drink it all day. It is a, uh, it's a wonderful drink, especially if you're on Cheers. It's a $10.95 drink, so you can try it and uh, enjoy that, that, that pairing of pomegranate and cranberry and a little bit of citrus. It's fantastic, and uh, you can make it at home now. Yes, you can. Although I can't remember whether it has a lime or a lemon in it, so uh, if you order one, let me know if it has a lime or a lemon in it. <laughs> we'll find out in a month, honey. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Bye, I love you guys. Celebrate the day. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go out on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.